Hello, so this is my uh, RPG game. Now I, um, you can load the game and it loads up all your stats and stuff. So you, uh, these, this is kind of your gear right here. So you've got a helm, chest plate, sword, uh, shield and ring, and you can find these items throughout the game. And this is the item that you've currently, currently looted and you can decide what to do with it. And you've got some uh, hit points and some mana points. Now these uh, little green and brown things, these are trees. So um, you can't walk on the trees, so there's kind of some collision detection uh, throughout the game. The entire board is 60 by 60. So if you come down here, there's going to be 60 possible squares. So 360 total, I guess, because you can go to the left or to the right. 60 spaces as well. So you're coming, coming into some monsters here. Now, the monsters will not chase you if you're about this far away. So you can see, oh, and it's also all turn-based, so nothing happens until you do something. So, you know, I move up. Let's see, let's get over here. See, now that I'm I'm moving, see, he won't do anything until I move. Um, but you can see he, he will, and all of them, really, if they're within range, will attempt to make some sort of action uh, if I do something. So you can see here this guy is chasing me and there's this is like a little loot chest so I'm trying to get to that to loot. Um, so I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to start attacking this guy. And you can see on the top there you can see his health bar is uh, going down and I'm at three so I'm going to heal and you can see I lost a mana point and I gained some hit points. So I'm going to attack again. And I've killed him, so I now have the option to loot him. So I'm going to loot. Okay, so I got a shield, and I went ahead and equipped that shield. You can see I actually gained um, one mana point uh, here and one hit point here. So shield and then your hit point and your mana point. Okay, so I'm going to um, try and uh, attack this guy. So attack, and I'm better heal, and oh, I was able to kill him. So uh, and look at that, I found a helm. I'm going to go ahead and equip the helm. Now, um, it's kind of interesting. I, I probably do the kind of the monster's ability to attack you a little differently um, in my next game. But you can see here, this guy doesn't doesn't have the ability to go like around a tree. Now, if I'm here, he can, you know, he can, you know, if he he can kind of. Oops, I died. And I'm not sure why it does that. Well, it's just something with the way that the the graphics are loading. I don't I don't particularly like the way I loaded the graphics. So you can see, um, he doesn't have the ability to go around that tree. So I'll probably try and do that a little different next time. Now, if I'm over here, he can kind of go up. So, I can come over here to this chest, loot this item, equip that item, and uh, see, they don't always follow you. I didn't want it to be like if if he, you know, if they get within range, they're going to follow you forever. It's kind of, uh, they, they only like will make an action every 75% of the time as far as a movement action. So there's a couple more there, and there's another chest that you can try and get to. And then I've got like a whole bunch of them right up here. And the monsters also cannot um, walk on each other, so they'll never like actually uh, die again. You have unlimited lives, so <laughs> so we can grab this chest. Goes away. So, but the monsters will never walk on top of each other. And you died. All right, that's it. Thanks.